How's it going guys? Welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm. I've been waiting for this for a long time. For my loyal fans that are watching this right now who have been here since my very first series, you'll know I cried like a little baby at the end of Life is Strange and you'll know that Life is Strange is one of my favourite games. So of course I am very excited to play this. I've seen nothing about it. I've tried to avoid as many spoilers as possible. And thank you Cherry for lending me your account so I can, uh, well, family share it so I can play it. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a story-based game. We know this. I made many actions that have many bad consequences. <laughs> Is that you, Chloe? Are you lighting a ciggy? Watch it be Chloe. Get out of the way of the train. Get out of the way of the train. Get out of the way of the train. <laughs> Everyone's just gonna say this. Get out of the way of the train. Uh, move, 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 move. <laughs> you are such a bitch. You're gonna get a thousand dollar fine for that now. Hi, Chloe. How you doing? You don't look as like punky there. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. I had a rumor that Chloe's actress wasn't voice acting her this, but kind of sounds like her. I guess that was the point when I was casting for her, though. I was going to say, I was going to say something when I was doing this the intro. I was going to say, oh well, fuck it, let's continue. There's a fence there. Hi, fence. What are you saying, fence? Oh yeah, as I was going to say, as people discovered, no <laughs> I make a very good angsty teen girl. It's almost like I don't have a dick or anything. Yeah, fuck the law. Holy shit. The doors look wanky. There's bikes and, and lights and, ooh. This place and is drug dealers. <laughs> I'm gonna get inside, I'll, I'll have to get through okay. that door. Yes, but let's explore first. I do know that this game's now using Unity Engine instead of Unreal Engine 3, which is what the last one was using. And it looks better, to be honest. Which is a good thing, I suppose. Is any of this interactable? Come on. Look, look, there's a betting stub. Let me have a look at it. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Well, you just made a train emerge to stop. Surely you owe them a thousand dollars if they find out it's you. Sure versus Goldie, five to three, three to one. Stake, thousand, loss, a thousand. Ooh. Ooh. That's Hi. Exactly. Those guys need to get a room. Yes, suck his dunga. Or not. Damn. Did you just bitch shot them? Bitch shot them. A gazer. Bitch slap it. Also an RV. Can I have a look at the RV? This RV's just begging for a little shit. Little shit, yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Now, for people that can't work out, this takes place before Max. Before the first game. This is before the storm, obviously. So, you know, we find out why. I'm guessing we bump into Rachel. Maybe that's the point of this game, is we find out what. Uh, Chloe and now, what to Rachel's relationship was like. Not a meth lab. <laughs> yes. Yes, Chloe, you do that. Achievement unlocked recreational vandalism. Not, not a meth lab. No, it's not. No. I'm sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've waited so long for a Life is Strange continuation. The problem with Life is Strange is once you've played it, you it's can't play it again. It's a one-shot wonder. On so I've been trying not to play this. I don't, I've been scared to play it because I know once I do this, I can't redo it. Say the world will end in fire. No, it'll end in a tornado created by Max. Mom would totally Spoilers. Her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. 
Yeah, but he'll have bigger fish to fry in a couple of years' time. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. Yes. How you finished pondering there, you actually little bitch? Home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Yes, especially with David there. Can can we leave the fire? Thank you. Let me leave the fire. What's a bike? Is it my bike? Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Yes. It me. <coughs> Fuck it up. The ultimate badass. I had any friends. The dialogue. What? <laughs> Listen to the door. The door. It tells me its secrets. So hard. I gotta get in there. They're not gentin though. They are not gentlemen. Door inside. So close and yet so far. So close, no matter how far. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Yes, including your skanky ass. People that didn't follow my uh my life is strange is I don't like Chloe. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. I let it be, let it be. Bouncer, let me speak to you. Let me look at you first. But blow job, that'll do. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. Are you legit? It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. You oh shit, Chloe. You just got murked! Suck him off. Ah, no, okay. Can't mm. let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? No, speak to him. God. Again? What do you want, kid? I'm a very convincing person. Your bike. Is that your bike over there? Yup. Yeah. It's uh pretty I'm a smooth angsty teen. Gee, thanks. Is that all? Mill. This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. What? Uh, uh, we can hear them in the background. Uh. You should probably just go. No. Let me inside. Oh, I've started a back talk channel. What's this? Is this new angsty levels? Oh. But I'm not giving up My angsty teen girl senses are tingling. I'm going to still get someone to do what you want. I have to convince the door. Stop. <laughs> okay, right. What have I got to do? Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, wait, where's my options? Where's my options? To succeed, to pay attention to what your opponent says. He said bedtime. Bedtime. Your bedtime? Oh, isn't it past yours? Maximum angsty overload! But I still don't know you. It's a cute. Cutie's relative. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. Yes. This is a playground, bitch. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. Oh, oh! Three nil. Flowers on your dollars on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a I mean, I am I am a twenty-three-year-old man. And that's an XT teen girl. <laughs> Is your boss your mom? <laughs> Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? Oh. Oh. For an answer, aren't you? Nope. Just like his brain exploded in the little thingy down at the bottom. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I'd give up. 
You're all right, kid. Yes, my angsty levels are too much. <laughs> I hope that didn't desync there because it appears the game isn't like loading and recording. Who calls that dog Delia? Especially such an aggressive looking dog. Sounds like a riff Metallica would make. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Oh, I thought that I thought that was the other word start with P then because it was him at the man. Can I pet the Duggo? Duggo. Delia, we just said it. Ah Kawaii. Oh, such a cutie, ha. Ah. She doesn't usually like people. No, she took Yeah, but I'm not people, I'm an angsty bitchy teen. I'm better than people. There's a drunk girl. Hi drunk. Hi. I'm stuck high dog. Back to the dog. Back to the drunk girl. There we go. You're missing the show. Yes. What's this shit say? Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? A Betty 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 Sweaty Betty guy. What's the sign say? Yeah. No shit. This car could slide down any minute. Like a dick. Ooh, ooh. Can I cause trouble? It looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. And squishing that man. Can I can I take off the parking brake? Can I take off the parking? Yes. Ah. Uh, I can't. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, it's just it's just hitting. That's the parking brake. Shitty bollocks. Ah. Oh, I want one. Bucks. A bit handy. And don't call me baby. Fine. 20 bucks, thief. <laughs> Lol. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. I've just told you give him a handy. Oh wait, hold hold this Chloe here. That might not be a good thing to suggest. <laughs> mate, mate, let me look at you. Guy's a dick. I'd love to see his car roll right up from under. Can you talk louder, please? Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. <sighs> Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Lol, 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 Yes, yeah, so you shoved that in your anus by the looks of it. What else you got there? That's like two hundred bucks. Do it! Do it! Do it, Kimmy, do it! I don't care if it life cons because I've got two hundred bucks now. I kinda like that riff, that's a good riff that. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Bongo bongo, let's all do the Congo. There's a north. That's not a north. This is a north. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Well, uh, the, the, the wind Max comes back. It's, all, it's understandable why you don't have a knife. Sketch Central. There's a reason I don't like Chloe. There's every chance I'll like her in this game, but not Chloe in in a couple of years time. I don't like that whole fucking Hydro guy. Sweet dreams, hombre. Yes. Sweet dreams are made of these. workers laid off. Their pensions cancelled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Ah, uh, mate. You don't even know yet. Dear members of Arcadia Base Dividend Association, the Prescott Foundation have recently purchased the Arcadia Bay Marine Corporation as part of bankruptcy settlement. It has decided to eliminate your position along with the position of all 307 members of your union. Furthermore, the foundation is localizing all assets of ABMC, including the Longshoreman's Pension, which has been granted a payment against credit. What? Are they even? Is that even? Can you get away with that in America? Because you can't do that in the UK. Like you have to give a settlement. Like if you try and like if your company goes bankrupt, you have to pay back like some sort of bursary back to the draw an evil eye. We're just graffitiing and stealing money left, right, and fucking centre here, mate. What are you looking at? 
I see you saw achievement unlocked. Journal? Ah, oh, now I've got a journal. Oh, it says Max in the... Ah, oh, does she still think about Max? Ah, oh, please tell me she does. Ah. Uh... Oh. Oh. It doesn't tell me what pages we're on. Wait, a third of 20. That's... Wait, wait, what? Wow. Hold the fuck it. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. <laughs> Give me a sec. What? Get to American Mums. Oh, yes. Yeah, would... Right, so that's the first page, right? Yes? Is this going to be... Oh, actually. Ignore that. It tells me the page from the bottom corner. <laughs> Dear Max, Dad got me this stationery one day when I was... What was the day? The third? The fifth of the third, sorry. 2010? I can't remember what year the game takes place. Is it 2015 the game takes place? Yeah, I think it is. This is five years before the game takes place. Dad got me this stationery one day when I was complaining about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say. Because we haven't talked in the in three months, despite all my calls and texts, and not that I'm upset or anything. Fuck, there's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe the Unfriended. <laughs> oh. Max, put, put your thoughts in me. This is my like it. There I can read to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. See, my original fans right now are going to be pissed so hard because they notice they know how long I spent reading the journals before in my original Life of Strange series. Maybe one day when you return home and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, giggity, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max. And you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend. Friend Pals, I was that is the best sentence ever. My my little imaginary former current best friend Pen Pals. Time will tell Chloe the journal boss. Right, that's his page. Ready? So mum suggests taking a road trip next summer. And I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David, the wannabe drill sergeant who swoops in on mum. And I stuck around like a bad zit. Pop him. <laughs> David the Mustache Monster. <laughs> Different planet dip shit. <laughs> I just sound like Chloe now. Chloe, I love Chloe. That's fucking David. Anyway, I politely suggest to Mum that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then. Or breathing. Hey shit happens and as you might imagine, that didn't get over well uh, go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self esteem issues and I've got serious self Immolation? What? Look it up, nerd. Plans. I will have to look it up, nerd. <laughs> she could do better, that's all I meant, but she didn't want to hear it. Like I'm an asshole. Chloe the asshole. Part three, three. So you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story. I had trouble coming up with an, ex uh, an excuse, so I just didn't. I just didn't show up, and it's. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invisible all of this. All of a sudden, maybe that's the perk of being the dead dead girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. Wish I'd figured this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Chris from Blade Runner popped into my head last time I rubbed one. I mean, at first I was thinking about Decker and that small <laughs> soldier of his, but then Pris just totally stole the show. Probably enough it there. I think it was just uh, <laughs> a little bit of lesbian going on there. Right, so I'm looking at my profiles. My name is Chloe Price, but you can call me Middlefinger. I'm an inmate at Blackwell Academy, currently serving a four-year sentence for crimes against maternity. That would be my mom, Joyce, who seems endlessly disappointed in me, which I get. I'm no one's image of a perfect daughter or student or anything really. But who the fuck wants to be perfect? I'm surrounded all day by so, uh, by so-called perfectionism. Perfection. And it sucks ass. Like your mum did that one night. Other things that suck. Mom's new job, Sergeant Boyfriend David. How hard is it to buy weed around here? Having no friends, hypocrites, country music. People say chillax. Dad being dead. It's been two years since he died in a car crash and I still think about him all the time. I've even been having these weirdly life-like dreams. Are we better to find out Chloe's got the pair as well? She just doesn't realise it. 
Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something, or the times I remember that he's feeling feeding worms in a ditch right now, and anything else is just a fairy tale to make myself feel better. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this ship big turn. The pen I use to tag any and everything I want. And my shiny personality, if I work it, maybe I can leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I I know shit's been rough since dad died. When it's tight, her job as waitress at the diner isn't exactly glamorous, and I'm clearly not all about to about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot or when I skip out of when I skip out to go catch an awesome show, it's somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going uh, postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when Dad was around. She could actually be cool. But lately, there's a hairy dick. <laughs> she let into the house. That's fucking her. I forgot. David Madsen, a jobless, brainless, dickhead little shit with a hard on for the military and promised to whip me into shape, asshole. I tried to express his concerns to my mum, yet every week it seems like the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that David's flu is kind of a disease that kills its host. <laughs> it's a dick tank. I'm just going to let you guys read this because it's going to take too long. <laughs> Lol. There you go, I think that's it now. Oh, back to the music. Hi, crowd. <laughs> nah, I, need, I need take a beer. Yes, free beer. Chug it. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. I'm stuck on scenery. I'm stuck on more scenery. Hi, right, chill girl. Are you chilling? She's chilling. She's chill girl. Chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room. Hey, can I go up the stairs? Well, half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. You look dicey. Hi, mate. Frank Bowers. What is he doing here? Yo, Frank. Hey. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. She's been doing well, ain't she? You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. Yep. They rock. Yep. How Clearly. How did you even hear about this little shindig? Cut. The internet. How else? It's all. Seriously? Fucking kids. Uh. I miss some weed. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of Come on, give me some wood. As soon as you give me the hundred and seventy-five bucks you owe me. Here's some cash. It's actual I don't care. This kind of money here for. You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. You're not. No, you're not. Beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. You don't have any style. Also, that's a glowing deer head. You said whatever the fuck it is. Do you come here a lot? So, you come here a lot? Or... I feel entertained. No shit. Look at that post in the background. <laughs> right. It's cool. Yep. I'm really glad you approve. Yep. I'll see you later. Nope. Whatever. Actually, you will look up the ears. But I'm not killing your dog. Like getting flattened by a car. Classy. Oh yeah, let me have a look. Let me have a close. Oh yeah. Right. Let's pause it. I'm getting this episode here. If you like to hit the like, you want to see more. Subscribe.